Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love, as well as who you might be dealing with, what do you need to know about the energies between you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching. Alright, let's jump right in for Scorpio. For Scorpio, spirits, angels, birds. What messages? you have for Scorpio regarding love, regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about Scorpio? All right, let's see what we get for you, Scorpio. So what's going on in your connection at this time? Three of Wands, Reverse, the Hermit, and the Page of Swords. Virgo energy with the Hermit. And I was thinking about some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo. I was thinking about Virgo when I was um, getting ready to do your reading. It's, it's like I'm doing Scorpio today. Scorpio is the only sign I'm doing today. And I instantly thought Virgo. So some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Um, now with the Three of Wands reverse, the Hermit and the Page of Swords, the messages that I'm getting are perhaps that this is a situation where someone's ready to talk, uh, ready to have a conversation. Maybe they were retreated retreating or retreated in the past maybe there was an emotional distance someone could have been withdrawn um far away we'll see what's going on there now i'm going to have your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other so feel free to flip them scorpio on your side we have the star reverse two of swords reverse and the page of wands Page of Wands. Page of Wands is important, but I don't know why. On their side, we have the Tower, Three of Swords Reverse, and the Ten of Coin Reverse. Yikes. Something's not going well for them. Something's going on here with this Page of Wands. I can't wait till I find out. Okay, Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's something going on here between you and this person. There's history here already. Um... I don't know this page of wands okay let's let's clarify <laughs> let's get down to the bottom of this can we get some insight clarity please for scorpio regarding love what do we need to know for scorpio let's start with what's going on in your connection here three wands reverse is typically somebody that no longer wants to wait they could be feeling impatient feeling like they've waited too long. Um, perhaps this is somebody that doesn't want to wait anymore and so they're a little bit impulsive. Page of Wands and the world. This Page of Wands is important, but I don't know why. And it's on your side. So it's like beginning something new, taking initiative. Tell me about um, this Three of Wands. What is going on with my deck? The Tower and the Four of Wands. So the Tower shows up again. Okay. So the tower's on your side, on your person's side. So something shocking, something unexpected on their end that might have something to do with the home, home life. Tell me about the three of wands reverse though. Let me focus up here. Judgment, yikes, okay. Tell me about the hermit. And then I'll look at this judgment a little bit. Tell me about the, the hermit, eight of pentacles. So the hermit and the judgment card to me are similar in the sense that they're both getting some sort of clarity or they both deal with some sort of clarity the hermit is seeking answers the hermit is seeking uh kind of a enlightenment in on, on a solitary journey they're they're seeking for a light that guides their path right that's why they're carrying a lantern in their hand and judgment is about an awakening um being you know waking up to a reality, to the truths, to information from the past, you know, you're evaluating everything you've done and you're having um, realizations about it. Um, there's, a, the, there's a theme of revival with judgment, so it's almost like something is woken up or something's revived, something is resurrected because of the enlightenment that someone's receiving or the 
clarity, um, the awakening that someone's receiving. So I think that what's happening here is that someone has realized something and they can't wait to get started. They can't wait to work on this with Eight of Pentacles. They can't wait anymore, <laughs> basically. And there's a Page of Wands again. So something's happening here with this Page of Wands. And I picked it up the minute I said this card down. I was like, there's something up with this Page of Wands in it. Yeah, there is. Um, I feel like this is, might be your energy that cannot wait to get something started. Um, with this person could be. Or despite this person, like, you know, regardless of what's going on in your connection, this is something you personally want to do. Um, and I feel like there's a conversation that will take place here with this Page of Swords, or this is part of the information or the clarity that someone's getting. Why is the Page of Swords here? Okay, these kind of just wanted to... Wow, Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. There could be something related to work here with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So I feel like this has this is going to be an, um, a conversation about maybe um, someone's honest feelings or a conversation about a new beginning in love or something that's very... You know, it's, it's almost like there, there's there's a truth regarding love or regarding how someone feels. Um, now, with the Three of Pentacles, I'm getting someone that wants to work together, someone that wants to put in effort. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles is typically a card about someone that's very um, successful, worthy. Some of you, this is a job offer that's coming in and you want to jump on it. Others of you, I'm picking up that this is someone that wants to um work on something regarding love um they want to put in some sort of effort regarding this co connection um, and it's due to a realization can i get one more for the judgment card why is judgment here why is judgment here six of swords so this is definitely moving forward here this could be related to a departure, leaving a situation, leaving a difficult situation. The devil's at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. Leaving a situation that perhaps has put someone or tired someone out with the nine of wands or has been difficult for someone. This could be you or your person because both of your energies are up here. Uh, this is what's going on in your connection at this time. So let's jump down to you. The star reverse is typically someone that's losing hope, needing to heal. Um, there's healing that's still needed here. Um, someone has lost faith. So let's see why. Uh, this is Aquarius energy. Why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that. I feel like, and in, in, in this is you, your energy, but of course you can flip it um, if it's not. Um, but for, for this reading, your side is here for me. So I'm going to speak to you as if this is you. It's been difficult. There's possibly some sort of loss you've experienced or feelings of abandonment, feelings of being cut off, shut out, feelings of being... Um, I got the word used. So some of you might have felt used. Um, I feel like you've lost hope or something feels hopeless. Something feels like it's beyond saving um, with the star reverse and the five of pentacles. Tell me about the two of swords reverse. Why is the two of swords reverse? This could be you making a decision that was difficult at first, but you finally uh, decided. Three of Wands. Okay, so there's waiting here. So this is a decision that you haven't made. Um, maybe it's too difficult for you. Yeah, Three of Swords. So this is possibly, um, you. even though something is difficult and you felt like things are hopeless or this could be a hopeless situation, I see you still kind of waiting for confirmation, for a message back, for something to happen, or waiting to make this decision. So what's this page of wands about? 
I feel like this page of wands is very important. What's this page of wands about? Why is the page of wands here? Queen of wands. This is some definitely about taking action, going after something, being bold. Tell me more about this page of wands, two of wands, choosing a path. I feel like you know where you want to go. You just don't know how to get there. Or you know, um, you envision your future already or the kind of future that you want. It's just taking those initial steps, being fearless and bold and going after it. Tell me about the page of wands. Can I get one more for this page of wands? What can you tell me about this page of wands? Yeah, eight of wands. So I feel like you wanna move quickly. I feel like you wanna move forward with the eight of wands. Perhaps you want to communicate this goal, this idea that you have. The magician's at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is you trying to make something happen for yourself. This could be leaving uh, this difficulty behind. This could be going after what you truly want or who you truly want to go after, Scorpio. I feel like you're already envisioning something um, in the future. Let's see what your energies are. Now, it's funny because I don't feel your person's energy at all over here. So I think this is something that you're thinking of outside of this other person. I don't think you're thinking of them necessarily when it comes to this new beginning, although you could be, and they just aren't aware of it. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Tell me about, okay, we have judgment call and poetic justice. So you've definitely made, this is like a final decision energy. You've made a decision for your own good. You've made a decision that could be a legal decision. You've made a decision that is fair to you, balanced, that, that benefits you. You're making some sort of logic, uh, or you're taking logic into account when it comes to this judgment call. There's no emotion here with these two energies. This is all about uh, logic and rationality and, and, and what's, what's objective and fair. What else can you tell me about Scorpio? I don't know what this decision is though. I feel like it could be different from, for all of you. Some of you, this has to do with a departure because I have the six of swords here. Yeah. The snake, this is about the potential, um, recognizing the potential of something and going after it before time runs out. That's the snake. So in your mind, I feel this is a judgment call that you're making um, that's possibly going to lead to some sort of a departure. <clears throat> Tell me about this three of wands. You've recognized the potential of something. This could be uh, work related. Tell me about the three of wands. Seven of swords. Yeah, strategic. Um, waiting for the right time. I think you're we're waiting for the right time to act. Some of you, this is like sneaking off or you're not really sharing this plan, this idea with, with other people. Yeah, Justice, this is about you making some sort of final decision <laughs> or a decision that's fair, balanced um, for you. Libra energy, some of you, this could be a very official decision. So some of you could be signing paperwork or going to an official government building or some sort of institution. Some of you, I feel like you've been waiting for this. You just, it hasn't been the right time. And it's like, you're just waiting for the green light or waiting for the right circumstances to do this. But, but I feel like you just can't wait to get out there. Yeah, the world. You can't wait to make this happen, to get out there, to have this new cycle start, this new beginning start. Some of you, this could be related to love, but others of you, I'm not getting that at all. But let's look at your person, because they're not doing so well. They have the tower and the ten of coin reverse. I mean, terrible energy, if you ask me. Just does not bode well when you have all uh, those two energies together. So let's see, what's this tower about? And does it involve you? Tell me about the tower. 
why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Tell me about the tower. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Tell me about the tower. Death, Scorpio Energy, there you are. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Page of Wands, again. The heart font at the bottom of the deck. Because of this tower, you're making some sort of move. This tower is leading to some sort of change or ending. Um, something could be ending here for good. With the When I see the tower and death together, I think it's like it's completely over. Now it's on your person's side, so I don't know if your person is the one causing this tower to happen or if this tower is happening in their personal life or is it happening in your connection tell me about death this tower could be brought on by you as well you might have brought on this tower and this person's feeling the shock you know tell me about death Knight of Wands. I feel like someone's taking action because of this ending. Um, the Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. The King of Cups. The Eight of Swords. I feel like someone's using this sword to their advantage. So whatever information, clarity, conversation that's taking place here. Someone's using that to their advantage. Whatever ending this is, someone's using it to their advantage. Um, so I don't know if this ending is happening in your person's life apart from you or if this ending is happening in your connection i still don't see any clarity on that tell me about the death card can i get one more please why is death here why is death here tell me about death the lovers so i think this is happening in a connection gemini energy Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Tower again. I feel like someone wants to reunite or fix things, but the other person's like, no. I see that with the Queen of Swords. Almost like there's like a like a like a security guard or a stop sign. Yeah, the tower and the ten of swords. Something's gonna end. And I don't know if there's a third party involved. If there is a third party involved, someone could be wanting to make a new beginning for themselves, right? If the tower happened, you know, with this other person. But this is definitely leaning to a, a Ten of Swords, an ending for sure. Uh, death is here and the Ten of Swords ending, any ending, ending. And then the Emperor. But I, again, I feel like this is not, if this is an ending, Someone's going to get something out of it that's good. Which is really strange. Three of Swords Reverse. What's this about with the Three of Swords Reverse? Why is the third Three of Swords Reverse? The Hangman. I feel like someone has not been able to heal. Has not been able to... And it could... Okay, some of you, this is a third party situation. And someone was stuck there. And others of you, I feel like they're, the pain is lingering. Tell me about the Three of Swords Reverse. It's all they can think about. Queen of Swords. I feel like this person was rejected. And they're not over it. I think this Queen of Swords rejected this person. Or cut this person off. Or something like that and there's a four of cups so it's, yeah it's almost like rejection what's this the moon wow pisces energy it could have been because of secrets illusions yeah and then there's a tower again something happened here or will be happening in december regarding an unknown either there was something that was hidden or secrets or an illusion of some sort and this Queen of Swords has figured it out. And that's why this tower is happening. And I feel like this person is not dealing well with it. Tell me about the Ten of Coin reverse. 
It's like ruthless energy with the Queen of Swords, poetic justice, judgment call, justice. You know, I, I'm getting like ruthless energy here. Tell me about the Kateno coin reverse. Three of Cups. I don't know what this is. There could have been someone else that got in the way here. Tell me about the Ten of Coin Reverse. Ten of Coin Reverse is like a serious, like, especially with the tower, it's like someone's security blanket or what they felt was stable and secure has been destabilized. Tell me about the Ten of Coin Reverse. Yeah, this person, this could be a long-term commitment too because the King of Pentacles for me as a reader tends to already be married or in a long-term commitment. So the Ten of Coin Reverse here, I feel like it affected someone that was maybe a provider or someone that thought that, you know, they were um, the head of the family or something like that. King of Swords too, what the heck? Again, I, I get the sense of someone being ruthless here. And then there's the devil, Capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck. And the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Exactly. It's like someone's like enough. I, I'm going to fight back. I'm not going to. I don't trust this. I'm going to fight back. I don't like this energy. I don't like this um, unhealthy attachment. I don't like how, you know, it's like someone's standing firm, but is being very ruthless about it. I don't know. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be you, this could be um, this person. Yeah, the tower. This this is, this tower, <laughs> this tower is inescapable. It's coming whether this person likes it or not, it's gonna affect this person the most. I don't know why you're not as affected by it. I just don't, I just see you having a new beginning. So, you know, I don't know if this tower helps your connection get better. Or if this tower is something that you wanted to happen. I can't I can't decide which one it is. Because it's not in the cards. I think there's a third party here. And I think a tower is happening because of that. But I feel like this Queen of Swords, King of Swords, whatever is whatever is off, this King of Swords and Queen of Swords figured it out. Like they're just they figured it out. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person's energy? Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. This person's having regrets. What else do we need to know about this person? Lasting promise. So they did something with regarding a long-term commitment that they regret. They probably made a promise that they couldn't keep or didn't keep. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? Bad health. Yeah, they're not doing well. I, I could tell you that much because this, it came up um, earlier in the reading where it's like that three of swords reverse. This person has not been able to overcome what's happened. They um, This tower is hitting them hard. I don't know. It's, it's almost like... Um, total annihilation or something like that like something's completely done done and, and, and it's almost like overkill i still check up on you what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this person what else do we need to know about this person we need to talk yeah so this person wants to talk because i feel like they still are hoping to deal with this regret energy the tower perhaps hoping to turn this around or hoping to work on things page of swords maybe they're going to tell you that they still care about you because they still check up on you so they're still interested they still care about you um but i feel like this person is truly heartbroken um and i don't know if you know it could be because the tower hit them hard or it could be because of the way they feel about you but i i don't know i i just get the sense that you are on a different wavelength here 